Okay, we're putting our steps in the front here. We got a footing poured. <clears throat> They're using that as a basically a center point, the center of the door. They've got it measured out. That's the center point. They got a string tied to it. They got a line around the string so they'll know their circumference they need to make here in this first one. And then we can always work 11 inches off of that when we get up one. But this first one's pretty critical to get it perfect around here to get it perfectly symmetrical so we can build off of that. But see that line is checking himself there. That's how we're going to do it. All right. Our guys are putting in us a nice little step setup. Check this out. Look how cool this is going to look. Very nice. We've got some uh, gravel, I believe, that we're going to do the fill inside of it with. So we'll see how it uh, how it looks as it goes up. We're we're trying to get artistic here. <laughs> the only thing to worry about is if we don't have a handrail. But the back is going to have a deck on it, and it'll have a handrail. So we'll see how that works. Out. All right, Just putting the finishing touches on the, at least the front of the step. The step has to be seven inches tall and eleven inches deep. So on the deep part, we got to put another brick behind it. We're kind of figuring it out as we go here. I think it's going to be pretty good though. Nice and level. Nice and round. He's getting it as good as he can get it. Trying to get it exactly how he wants it. So we think we're going to run another brick behind it so that we can have an 11 inch uh, tread depth. So we're trying to do 7 by 11 because that's code, but code doesn't really apply to a, a mobile home, but we're trying to be as code friendly as possible so they don't come down here and complain. All right. So, these gentlemen have used some of our bricks that were trash. We've got some that are broken stuff that we had to use the face of for the side and things like that. And so they filled in a little bit of the back to make it a little uh, thicker for so we'll have a nice uh, foundation for the next level of steps. And then we've got all of this uh, like aggregate here or whatever it is that uh, uh, we had laying around that we're able to use to fill it in too. So we're basically getting it level and then he's going to start putting the next the next step on it so we'll see how that goes but so far so good these are the two people behind the scenes that's <laughs> making it all happen is the number one bricklayer and the number two bricklayer the number one guy working with wood the number two guy working with wood so they are doing the second step and it's looking great. Boy, they're doing a good job. Nice and level. It looks nice and strong. I'll show you what it looks like kind of in comparison to the home. I'm just trying to dress it up a little bit. You know, these things are awfully boxy looking. You got to do something to make them look a little bit better. Getting there quickly though. Okay, here we go with the Taj Mahal. We've got we've got the steps in uh, two of them anyway. Well, one in a little bit. We're making this 11 inches deep here, so uh, that's why they turned that one. I think that looks extremely good. But anyway, they haven't got that in up here. And it's probably going to get harder as the higher we go here to get that straight brick in there. I think they're going to have to cut them in half to get them to work the way they want. But it is looking absolutely amazing. And there it is. We've about got the second step done. They're doing a great job like normal. Down to the last piece. Looks like we might put a little piece at the end or something too to make it look all the way live. <laughs> See in the fill there in the middle, he uh, 
He put down like some um, some teeny tiny gravel that we've got, and he put uh, some block on top of that with some cement. Basically filled it all in as best we could. Used some uh, loose brick that we had that wasn't that we had broken, and it was just the back of a brick and stuff like that. Definitely getting there. All right, so we got three rows done, but the top little step we don't have yet. So we got to uh, get some more cement. Hm, ran out of mortar, but we'll do it next time. Okay, we're on this top step here, and we're having to cut every one, every other one of these, to get the angle right to make our circle. We had to cut the bottom ones, obviously. We have been using full, and now we're using the two two holes instead of three holes. A full one is three holes, so he had to break it off. Right here is what we're having to cut. I've got it lined out to, to make it work. Put gas in the saw. <coughs> Get in the saw ready. So, I'll come back when we uh, get salt. Enfrente no me lo quité nada porque aquí le quitaste todo. Ve que si no no le da uno como debe ser. So we decided against the every other one, and it's got to be every one is the one that is cut. We're trying to get to this center point here, but you can see there. We're having to cut every one. Pain in the butt. 
are halfway there. There's the center line. Over half. After a lot of cuts, a lot of heartache, a lot of hard work, a lot of sweat. It's been like six hours, seven hours. And we've got this much done. We're working at it. We'll get it. Yeah. We'll get it. It's been seven or eight hours. We've been killing ourselves here. There's a top view. We'll get it. And yes, it is seven. And yes, this is eleven. And we'll get it. Not that easy laying bricks flat. That's what it's going to look like when it's done. That it looks pretty cool. There you go. It's fighting us the whole way. We've got to cut every brick. All the way through it, but we're going to get it. Okay, folks, so we put the top of the cake on, and it ended up pretty good. They had to cut all the bricks, as you saw. Uh, and then they put a kind of sideways pattern there. Ended up looking real nice. So... Very cool. I'll show you how it looks from a little farther back. Looks good, I think. It looks real big whenever you're up against it, but uh, from a distance, you know, it looks uh, kind of fits the sparse nature of the home. <laughs> All right, so leave your comments below and make sure to uh, subscribe to us. We've got, of course, tons more to do. So we'll see you on the next video. I hope you enjoyed it.